kids, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today we're going to make two versions of the wooden bead garland for Halloween. Two versions. Because I got a surprise for you. For those of you who don't like, oh, I've got styrofoam all over me. For those of you who aren't into the country thing, I have an alternative from the Dollar Tree. So this is all Dollar Tree materials, but I have an alternative for you. So what you're going to need, um, I bought four bags of the wood beads at the Dollar Tree and I separated them. This is actually a dark navy blue, but it looks black and orange. So I separated the wooden beads. I picked up some of the wooden. I've actually got one of each, but I'm using the ghost and the cat of these wooden, um, what are they called? Ornaments some paint i just have some craft smart 50 cent paint in black and some we really white chalk paints what i had on hand a paint brush i'm going to be using some twine and a embroidery needle so an embroidery needle is a bigger needle and it's pretty dull on the end but it's what is that I don't even know. It's larger than a regular needle. I use it for knitting all the time, but it works for this as well. My twine. And then for the not so um, country, I got vase filler. And this is the copper and black. I love it. And it's pretty sparkly, but I will tell you it did not make a huge mess. And these are a dollar and I made, I used about half a bag do that and I think that is everything that I am utilizing to do oh scissors to do this project so I'm going to turn you around I'm going to show you what I've created and then I will show the finished object and I hope you enjoy all right the first thing we did is I took my cat and I painted him black just plain old black paint and then I tied some twine around it a bunch of knots cut it and I took one of these dark beads on and I just pulled the knot up inside the bead to hide it like that and I have a fairly long piece of twine with a needle on the end and what we're going to do and you can choose any pattern you want. I've just been doing the, it's really blue, but we'll call it black, orange, black, orange, in no specific order. So I know I started, I mean, no specific sizes, because they are all different sizes, and I'm just grabbing a bunch of beads. The only thing I want to do is save probably a big blue one for the end. But other than that, I'm just kind of really trying to go random with the sizing. Um, I did try to keep these even. And then you're just pulling them down over. And then you want to pull it all the way to the end. And make sure they stay down there. So that's what we're going to do. I'll go ahead and do this. And I'll just fast forward since you don't really want to sit here and watch me stuff beads on a needle, I'm assuming. And then we will be right back. All right, so I have it all strung up, and you're just little stringies here. Now we're gonna make a tassel for the other end. So I took my, for right now, I took the needle off of there. And we're gonna take some twine, and I wanna cut a piece pretty long. Here. Now the rest, I'm going to go here around my hands and I kind of want to leave them open. I want a long tassel. So we kind of want to, there we go. Lots and lots of twine like this oops and a little more
want. You can make it as full as you want. Cut it. So now we have this loop here. And that's what this is all about. But the first thing you're going to want to do is take this piece is attached and you're going to pull it in here. It doesn't have to be all the way to the end. You just want to have it attached. And I'll show you why in a second. So I have that holding my loop, and this is going to be attached to the end here, so you just want to make sure it's in there nice and snug. And then you're going to take this piece of twine that you had reserved, and we're going to tie it off. Ooh, my fingers. We're going to tie it off right here. Right here. And you want to just kind of make sure everybody is right where it needs to be. So we tie them off right here. Do one more. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I just did a double knot. So this is where it's attached. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it easier to get the string through this top loop. Now the one I tied on is here. The first thing I'm gonna do is attach my needle back to it and you'll see why. Some people hot glue, I just find it easier to use my needle. So this is attached to the string. The loop is attached to the garland. What I'm gonna do is go around and around, just like a tassel will look around and around until I get to the end here. Just wrap it around and you're gonna take your needle and I go down underneath all that that wrapped around and pull it through. Right? So I pulled that one through pretty tight and I'm gonna come up here and do it again. And because this is twine, it's not going to like slip out like a, a regular string would do. And I'm going to do it one more time. One more time. And it's in there tight. I'm going to trim it off at the bottom. And I'll take my needle out. And the last step is coming in here. And you just want to cut these bottom loops. And I do wait for the end to do that. And again, this is pretty rustic, so it doesn't really matter. But there's our tassel for the end. Isn't that super easy? I think so. And if you don't like how long some of them are, because I know this one was longer, that will bother me. So I'll just trim it. Now, last step. You want to pull this guy up to here because he needs to be attached to the top of the, or the end of your garland. And then I'm gonna tie a knot. So it's hanging here at the end of my all the beads. And you don't want your beads to be super tight. So I give myself some play. I'm gonna tie a knot. And this is not my idea. I believe I saw this on measure and mix. I just did it my way is all. So we're tying it off here. And I'm just going to do a double knot. I'm going to slip the needle back onto this twine and I'm going to bury my core, my twine up inside these beads. Super easy. And I like working with a tapestry needle because the hole is super big. All right. So what we're going to do down here is I'm going to, some people hot glue again, but I'm going to feed this all the way back up. Not all the way. I, that's not, that's an exaggeration. I'm going to go up about six or eight beads 
And I do try to go one at a time because they're going to fuss me. It's going to fight me on this. Some of them are a little smaller than others. So you just really want to eh, eh, pull it through. And if you can't, you may have to like get something to wedge it through. Because you're talking about several thicknesses of twine here. I'm just going to use my scissor. And I'm going to grab a pair of needle nose pliers. So this will help. Pull it through. It's hard to get a good grip on a needle. So if you need to pull it through, just have a pair of handy needle nose pliers. And that was just for the tiny bead. It wasn't for all the beads. And then... Maybe I'll go up a couple more. Just one more. Make sure you're cutting your spare thread, your spare one and not the one that's attached to your garland. So that is what they look like. You could do a super long one. I chose to do two shorter ones and I'm going to raise the camera up so I can show you all of them complete. But I chose to do them this length. So I can put them in multiple places in my house. But you cannot tell that that is navy blue and that these were a Dollar Tree product. So let me pause you for a second. I'm going to raise you up so you can see all of them. So here's the one we made together. It has the black cat and the tassel. And these are pretty long. But I want to use them to hang, you know, in little places. Like on candles or something. Here's one with the ghost on it and then this is the one that I think is more modern looking or definitely less country I did use the twine because that's just what I had out um, these glitter balls are um, styrofoam <laughs> and instead of doing a tassel I put a ghost and a cat on them you could paint these in silver and gold copper sparkly and I just did about uh, you know a random pattern here with the sparkly but that is the garlands that I created with Dollar Tree items for Halloween you could also do them for fall do like orange and brown do natural beads you don't have to get them at the Dollar Tree but this is my take on them so I hope you enjoy and you have a good one bye